The China Open is one of the rare combined events outside of the Grand Slams where players from the ATP and Sony Ericsson WTA Tour have the chance to mingle. And at the Shangri-La Hotel in Beijing, some of the world's very best players were invited to do just that. Bedecked in traditional Chinese robes, the players had the chance to experience a spectacular evening of Chinese culture. It's very nice. It's the first time for me to have a chance to wear something like this and it's very interesting to see different culture and the way they used to dress and, uh, you know, like, like I said, it's, it's always great to try something new. So, you know, we're flying all the way over here. You might have well embrace it, get used to it, kind of learn learn about the Chinese culture and, and kind of take it all in. I already played my first match and it was great, the fans were fantastic, so you know it's nice to see that they really get into tennis these days and um, yeah hopefully I just can, can keep going like this. It's nice uh, for me to play here, it's gonna be first time like I just said and I'm so happy to be here, I will try to do my best to, to, win, so, to win all the matches I can. As part of the cultural spectacle, the red drumming group thrilled the audience with their lightning quick rhythmic skills. And then the players were invited to have a go themselves, with mixed results. It was a fun experience, you know, to see how they do the, the drums. But of course, we're tennis players, and for us, you know, it's quite interesting to see that and learn at least a little bit just to see how, how everything goes. Uh, I was lucky to don't do it, no, I think. Uh, I think that Andy was the one showing who is uh, the one going up, so uh, he didn't pick me, so I'm happy. It's uh, very different, like Europe, and, and the people is so nice, and I like it, I like it a lot.